very quickly um, on the front pages of our newspapers we have today. I have the Daily Graphic with me um, as the first newspaper. And uh, it says here, make Ghana card acquisition process faster. The EC is saying to the NIA, all right, wow. Electoral Commission to the NIA. Uh, yeah, I mean, this. I think this goes without, you know, even mention. It's it's important. Yeah, I mean, whether it's coming from the EC or up, not. It's, <laughs> you must speed it up. Absolutely. You know, the process is just too sluggish. Yeah. Um, Ghana's leadership in rule of law exemplary. This is UK Attorney General speaking. Um, okay, I wonder what perspective he's coming from. <laughs> well, we'll have yeah, to read the story can, and find can, out. Yeah. Or maybe ask him. NHIS <laughs> must recover prostate cancer treatment. This is coming from a urologist. And I, I agree. 100%. I agree. Yeah. And we've got the Ghanaian Times here. Lecturer three students die in road crash. Ooh. Several other sustained injuries at Aparedi in the eastern region. And this is a really, really yeah. sad yeah. story. Yeah. 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 Um, Very unfortunate. Condolences to their families, mm. Mm. to the University of Education, whenever yeah. that's the school they're coming from. Um, very sad story. We also have here Veep, Kufour, Mahama, Speaker, others mourn Openyi at Japan. And that was over the weekend. We have that story on page 16. UK's Attorney General lauds Ghana's efforts at introducing plea bargain into justice system. Okay. And that's on page 15. So maybe that's where the whole general comment mm. stemmed from. Mm. Then we have here as well, 2022 small scale mining awards launched in Accra. That's on page 17 of the Ghanaian Times. And then Tello Ghana before court over alleged local content violation. Okay. I have the Chronicle and on the front page of the Chronicle, it says here, concerns small scale miners uh, president re retracts allegations against national security. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's <laughs> see how that unfolds. Yeah, I know, right? I want to comment, but I won't. Hmm. Uh, World Cup sc scammers on the prowl. Question being asked by the Chronicle. Hmm. Hundreds throng a hotel in Accra for supposed recruitment as security personnel. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, what? In Qatar? Yeah, I, th I think so. It's like you're, you're seeking to recruit security personnel to go to Qatar. I, I, I don't understand it. For the World Cup, wow, this is a proper scam. Hey, okay. But this scam, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not a level. Yes, yeah, a different <laughs> level. Okay, no fears. Economy <laughs> will bounce back. Kojo uh, Kuma speaking. Yeah. Ghanaian prisoners in Libya cry for help. The scripture on the front page of the Chronicle says, uh, this is Luke chapter 8, verse 17, for nothing is secret. That will not be made manifest, neither anything hid that will not be made known and come <laughs> abroad. All right, the scammers, no? The scammers, oh, the scammers. You. And we have here the finder economic stabilization high on government's agenda. And this is coming in from the Minister for Information, Opal Nkrumah, page eight of the finder. Mm. Ghana's return to IMF is necessary to fix debilitating economic situation. And this is a quote the finder tells us from Dr. Guinea Mbwaku, he's economic advisor and spokesperson to the vice president. That's on page two of the finder. Central East Command records 2,972 land cases mm. in eight months. And this is what the Ghana Police Service is saying. Mm. It's on page five of the finder. Decision to block SIM cards unlawful and acceptable, says the NDC. And that's on page four of the finder. All right. Uh, the new publisher has these headlines. I will read the biggest one. Um, it says here, Minister in Blackmail Danger um, over Big Stones, over Big Stone Mines. Uh, journalist accuses Jubilee House staff. And then um, there's one other one here that I want to touch on. Uh, Michael Preparer retracts begs over Aisha Wang allegations. Now, I, I wonder what's going on here, but, you know, uh, maybe we'll dig into that, you know, at some point. Yeah. The biggest story on the front page of the new crusading guide, Ellen Bella, missing excavators, Bruhaha, full facts as DCE proves his innocence. And that's on pages 3 and 10 of the new crusading guide. Visa scandal, sports ministry and Samson Dean fingered in Birmingham visa fraud, says the new crusading guide. Attorney General meets UK counterpart, and that's on page 10 of the New Crusading Guide. All right, I have the, the Anchor newspaper here, and it says, um, Obedient small-scale 
minors to be awarded stubborn ones for jail as government launches 2022 mining awards these and many other headlines on the front page of the anchor mm. i also have the republic press here it says uh Togbe Afede again uh, sends Ken and Japan packing at a Sogli festival. Uh, these and other headlines on the front page of the uh, Republic Press. Okay, citynewsroom.com. Next NDC government will complete abandoned projects in Volta region, says Mahama. We've not been paid since January 2022, the youth and afforestation beneficiaries are saying. Ekufado begins two-day tour of the Volta region today, and we will be taking that live on City TV from 10 a.m. And then men's school customers to embark on demo today over four-year locked-up cash. And, of course, you go to the BBC, um, everything you need to know about Queen Elizabeth and how she's going to be sent home to glory.